You want to get like Matica in Minecraft 1.21.1? Let's go ahead and do it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting like Matica. And by the way, like Matica is a really cool mod that allows you to import things called schematics into Minecraft. This can make transferring things from one Minecraft world to another super easy. And you can even create schematics using like Matica, meaning you could create a schematic of something in your world and move it to another world. On top of all that, it allows you to actually build or paste the schematic, meaning you could build build it using like a hologram like this, placing all the blocks yourself in survival. Or if you're in a creative style game, you can go ahead and just paste this in without having to do any manual work. That being said, to get Lightmatica, go to this second link in the description down below. That will take you here where you want to scroll down and click download Lightmatica. That will take you to Lightmatica's official download page on CurseForge where we want to go to files. And then we want to find the 1.21.1 version right here at the top. Click the three dots on the right hand side and click download file and after a few seconds Lightmatica will begin downloading. While we're waiting on this to download, I have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, or mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. Plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, you may need to keep or save like Matica depending on your browser. And we also need to download a mod called Molly Lib. What is Molly Lib? Well, it is a compatibility mod, a library mod that is required for like Matica. It of course is linked in the description down below and it will take you to our in-depth guide on it. On this page here, go ahead and click download Molly Lib to go to the official download page on CurseForge. Then go ahead and click on files and find the 1.21.1 version here. Click the three dots next to it and click download and just like Lightmatica, it will begin downloading after a few seconds. Depending on your browser, you may need to keep or save it, but it's 100% safe to do that. Now, last but not least, we need to download the Fabric Mod Loader itself. This is the mod loader that actually allows the Lightmatica mod to work in Minecraft. Basically, you have your mods and then Fabric sits in between the mods and Minecraft, making them work together. Of course, it's linked in the description to our in-depth guide where you want to go ahead and scroll down and click on the Download Fabric button. If you do prefer a text guide, by the way, though, it is here. Once you click on that download fabric button, you will go to fabrics official download page where you want to make sure you click on this download universal jar link. This little link here under download for windows. The reason we're doing that is because if you download the universal jar and we get it installed that way, it'll make installing other Minecraft mods and things like that easier in the future. So we can go ahead and keep or save this file depending on your browser. And then finally, it's all downloaded, it's done, right? You've gotten everything downloaded at this point and we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Then what we wanna do is go ahead and move these files to our desktop just cause they're easier to manage there. As you can see we have Fabric, Lightmatica and Molly Lib. We'll drag and drop all of these to the desktop. And what we wanna do is actually start off with Fabric. So we're gonna get the Fabric installer here. You can see it is the Fabric installer file. Right click on it, click on open with, click Java and click okay. But what if you don't have Java? or you do and it doesn't work. Well, in both cases, all you've got to do is install this, Java 21. As of Minecraft 1.21, you need Java 21. So this is linked in the description down below with an in-depth guide on how to get Java set up. You may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all your jar files on your computer, like Lightmatica and the Fabric Mod Loader, and link them to Java, making them work happily together. At this point, though, we can minimize our browser and install Fabric. Right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. Now we can go ahead and select the 1.21.1 version, make sure create profile is checked, and click install. The reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed when installing Fabric. And make sure that you've played Minecraft 1.21.1 before. That means opening that version up to the main menu. And I want to stress, Minecraft 1.21.1. Not any other version. If it's the base 1.21 version, it's not going to work. You need that specific 1.21.1 version for this to work. But if you've played that and Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed, click OK because it's successfully installed. Now we can close out of the Fabric installer and actually delete it. Now let's go ahead and get Lightmatica installed. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. Then in the Minecraft launcher, go to installations up here at the top and you will have a Fabric loader installation. If you don't, no worries. Make sure modded is checked because as you can see, if modded is not checked, it's not there. But if we check modded, 
spotted, there it is. If you still don't have Fabric here though, click New Installation. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends, including Minecraft mods like Lightmatica. And then click the Versions drop down box here. Then select the version you want, which in our case is Release Fabric Loader 1.21.1. It's this version right here. I'm going to set my resolution so we can see better later and click Create. Now we have that Fabric installation. At this point, how do we install Lightmatica though? Well, find your Fabric installation, either when you create it or the one that's there by default, and click the folder icon that appears when you hover over it. This is going to open up your .minecraft folder where you should have a mods folder. But if for whatever reason you don't have a mods folder, it's okay. Just create one. Right click in the Minecraft folder here. Click on New folder and then mods. I let mods all lowercase exactly like that and then open your mods folder. Finally, drag and drop Lightmatica and Molly Lib into your mods folder right like so and they're installed. Now all you've got to do to play Minecraft using Lightmatica is play Minecraft using your fabric installation, either the one that was there by default or the one that you created. Now once you're in game, Lightmatica is going to be installed and working. From the main menu, there's no way to see that Lightmatica is installed. However, if you go ahead and jump into single player or a server, you will be able to see and more specifically use Lightmatica once you're in game. What's cool about Lightmatica is if it's in single player, you can use it on a server. So it doesn't have to be installed on the server for you to join the server and use it. So on this server, for example, if I go ahead and press M, which is the Lightmatica hotkey, the menu key, it opens up the Lightmatica menu. Now from here, you can load schematics, you can create schematics using a stick, for example, so we take a stick here as you can see in the bottom left there is a schematic placement we can switch to fill replace all of this stuff i believe there is area selection there it is and so we can now select a schematic area here if we wanted to so we could schematic this whole area and create a schematic using the schematic menu now by i believe coming in here and doing area editor and you can save it and all that stuff but what if you want an in-depth guide on this? Because obviously, I'm not giving you an in-depth guide right now. Well, luckily, we have one. In the description down below, there's a link to here, which is our in-depth schematic guide. It goes over everything. It is 14 minutes longer than this installation video of me downloading, installing Schematica, but using Schematica, creating schematics, you know, using the stick for schematics, removing schematics, placing schematics. All of that stuff is covered in depth in this video, even in the in-depth guide of the Lightmatica menu, all of that stuff. So go check this out in the description if you want a more in-depth guide on that. But otherwise, you now know how to get Lightmatica in Minecraft 1.21.1. We will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.